Hi, welcome to my channel. I was requested to do a video on gender neutral Irish names. So some of these names are very common, very popular in Ireland. Some of them are a little bit more rare, a little bit less known, but um, they're all traditional old Irish names. And some of them might be a little bit better known as a male name and some of them might be better known as a female name, but they're all gender neutral and they work for both. So let's get started. The first name is Fuelon and it means wolf or little wolf. It comes from the Irish word Fuel, which means wolf. There are two ways to pronounce this name, either Fuelon or Fuelin. And it all depends on whether or not there's a fada over the second A. So if there is a fada, sorry, a fada first of all is an accent over a vowel. And if there is a fada there, then it elongates the way it sounds and it's Fuelon. If there's no fada, it's Fuelin. And um, some people pronounce it Fuelon or Fuelin as well. Um, and I think that that depends on where in Ireland you're from. We have four different provinces. So um, names tend to be pronounced differently depending on what province you're in. And I included Fuelon because it's the Irish version of my son's name, Wolf. And while Wolf is predominantly known as a boy's name, like I don't know any girl wolves, um, I think it's mostly known as a boy name, but um, Fuelon is equally used as a boy or girl name. The next name is Enda and it means bird-like or freedom of spirit. It comes from the Irish word Ain, which means bird. And it's pronounced exactly as it's spelt, en da. And you can't say that for a lot of these names. A lot of them are um, very difficult to pronounce when you just try and read the spelling, but enda is an easy one. And enda has been the name of a lot of historic um, kings and leaders um, dating back to the sixth century, so a very old name. And a lot of people would know it from Enda Kenny, who was um, a former Taoiseach in Ireland. And Taoiseach means um, the head of government. So a lot of people would know it from Enda Kenny. And I know a few Endas and they're all male, but I don't know if that's just random where I am or if it's equally used as male or female, but um, it works for both. The next name is Shurton, and it means descend or flow down. And it's pronounced Shurton. Sure ton and it has two fadas one over the u and one over the a i think i got that right and the anglicized name the anglicized version the english version of sure ton is jordan and i think we all know jordan jordan would be a very common name in english um, and this name was brought to ireland with the vikings so it's a very very old name but still used today. The next name is Regan, and it comes from the Irish word re, which means king. So it means king's child. And it's pronounced re-gun or re-gun. And the name Regan is another very old, very ancient one. It was the name of Brian Beru's nephew back in the 11th century. And Brian Beru is um, a, an old high king of Ireland and he's very well known. We all learn about him in school. So Brian Beru's nephew was a Regan. And then another well-known Regan is one of the daughters in King Lear, the Shakespeare play. So um, it goes back hundreds of years as both a male and female name. The next name is Shay just pronounced Shay and the meaning of the name Shay differs depending on whether you're using it as a male name or a female name. So the male Shay means hawk or hawk-like and the female Shay means from the fort or admirable. So um, yeah, depending on what gender you're using it for, the meaning changes. The next one is Orin and it means sallow one or dark-haired or pale little green one and it's pronounced or in or an or oron and um, if there's a fada it elongates it so it'll be oron and oron has actually been the name of 17 saints in Ireland so it's a very old saintly name and one of the saints um, Saint Oren is the patron saint of Waterford and Waterford is a county in Ireland a place in Ireland the next name is Nisha which means warrior and it's pronounced Nisha, Nisha. And in old Irish myths, uh, Nisha was a hunter, warrior, and singer. And a well-known Nisha was the nephew of King Connor McNessa back in the first century. So a really old name. And traditionally, it's always been known as a boy's name. Um, you know, in the past, it was always a boy's name. And then in more modern times, 
it gained popularity as a girl's name and in fact now it might even be more well known as a girl's name but it still it still works for both next is kale and it means slender or narrow and it's pronounced kale or quail and another popular name is kaylin so you add an an onto the end of the name and you get kaylin or quailin and um, they all mean the same thing, they all mean slender. Another more modern variant of the name is Keelan, and that would be quite a well-known name in Ireland today as well, and also gender neutral. The next name is Roa, and it's derived from Irish word Ryark, which means view or vision. So Roa means a beautiful view or a vision. And Roa is known as a gender neutral name, but it might be a little bit more commonly used as a girl's name. The next name is Kaluk, and it's pronounced Kal Uk. Kaluk. And there's a bit of debate about exactly what Kaluk means. Some people say it means war or strife, and some people say it means bright or a beautiful mind. So I guess you can interpret that however you want to interpret it. And despite it possibly meaning war or strife, it's actually a very revered, very saintly name. It's been the name of three saints in Ireland and the Archbishop of Armagh in the 12th century was called Calix, so um, a very old traditional name. And it was very popular in the past. Nowadays, it's a little bit more rare and um, not as popular as it used to be. The next name is Shanley and it's pronounced similar to the way it's spelt, Shan Li, Shan Li. And this is another one where the meaning of the name differs depending on whether you're using it as a male name or a female name. So male Shan Li means hero, whereas female Shan Li means hero's child. So both very similar, but just that slight little, um, slight little difference. And the name Shan Li is derived from the old Celtic name Shan Lok, which means ancient or old hero. The next name is Zoron and is pronounced Zoron, Zoron, and it has a fada over the a. And I've got to be honest with you, I have done so much research, I cannot find out the meaning of this name. All I could find out is that it's an old Irish name and it's gender neutral, but apart from that, I couldn't find anything else about this name. Um, so I debated whether or not to even include it but I decided to include it because I absolutely love the name. It's my favorite on this list. I think it's just such a cool name. So um, I'm sorry, I can't give you more information about it, but it's a cool name, right? Zoron? The next name is Leak, and it means songful or poetic, and it's pronounced Leak, Leak, or Leiduch, Leiduch. And I've also read it can mean from the pasture, but the name Leak is derived from Irish word Lee, which means hymn or poem. So I would interpret it as meaning more songful and poetic, but um, again, I, you can choose to have the meaning as from the pasture if you want. You can choose whatever way you want. The next name is Ailey, and it means escape or break free, and it's pronounced a Lee, Ailey, or a Lig, a Lig. And again, that just depends on where in Ireland you are. And it's spelt with a fada over the E. And there's some debate over whether or not um, the English name Haley comes from Ailey. Um, a lot of people insist that it does, but the fact that Haley means hayfield and Ailey means escape. I know they sound similar, but the meanings are different, so I don't really think it's derived from that. But one thing they have in common um, is that both Ailey and Haley they're both gender neutral, but possibly better known as a girl's name. The next name is Aleby, and it means white hawk, or intelligent, or noble. And it's pronounced Aleby, or Alebe. And Aleby is known as the patron saint of wolves. So there's an old Irish legend where um, when Aleby was a baby, the king ordered him to be killed. Um, because his father fled and his mother instead placed him on a rock in the wilderness where he was raised by wolves. So patron saint of wolves, there's an interesting fact. And another interesting fact is the anglicized name of ALB is Elvis. So if you're a fan of Elvis, then here's the Irish version. And ALB is common as a boy's name and a girl's name, but usually when you're using it as a girl's name, you add in a H after the B and it um, becomes ALVA, but um, ALB it can be used for both. The next name is Kerry, and it's pronounced as it's spelt, Ke 
re carry and it means dark one or black haired it's derived from an old irish word cure which means um black or dark brown so that's where it comes from there's also a county in ireland called Kerry, but um, the name has nothing to do with the place they're just separate Kerrys. the next name is daron and it means fruitful or bountiful and it's pronounced dar on Daron. And the English versions of Daron are different depending on male and female. So the female version of Daron is Darina and the male version is Darren. So, um, but as Daron, it's gender neutral. The next one is Kasi and it means vigilant or watchful. And it's pronounced Ka-a-si, Ka-a-sa or Ka-ha-sig. Again, depending on where in Ireland you're from. And I included this one because the English version of Kahasi is Casey. And that's where the name Casey comes from. And my future brother-in-law is called Casey and he's American. And I don't think he knows that his name actually has Irish roots in it. So there you go, Casey, you're one of us already. <laughs> so that's it. They are my top Irish gender neutral names. If you have any requests or ideas for some names or some videos you want me to do, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.